Hey guys, so I'm Reed Lundy with KS Tuned. Just wanted to show you about a new product, what it is, um, what, what it works with, kind of what the limits are, and um, basically a, a, an overview of what the product is. So what we have is a 90 millimeter KS Tuned spray plate. Uh, it goes in between the intake manifold and throttle body. So it's, it's literally as simple as remove your throttle body, stack this in between, and um, this replaces a single nozzle or you know even direct port. What's included in the box is the spray plate with fittings that accept all standard nitrous jets from NOS, Nitrous Express, Nitrous Outlet, etc. And uh, there's four caps. So these four ports will support either um, two wet stages or up to four dry stages. Now, if you wanna just run a single wet stage or a single dry stage, it can do that, no problem. Um, just leave whatever's not used uh, capped off. The caps are included as well. Um, so what you get is the spray plate, you get uh, longer fasteners, and uh, two CN705 gaskets. You know, installation's really simple. Obviously, you just remove the throttle body, uh, bolt the spray plate on, and that's it. We've tested with individual cylinder widebands up to 200 horsepower single wet shot. Now, we had no evidence uh, of cylinder deviation, air fuel ratio that led us to stop at 200. We just, you know, butthole pucker factor. So we decided to stop at 200 horsepower. Um, that's what we recommend, um, not going beyond. Not saying you can't do it, but that's on you. The KS2 90 millimeter spray plate fits all common 90 millimeter flanges. So you'll commonly see this flange used in sheet metal intake manifolds, you know, from all kinds of different manufacturers. And uh, this Skunk 2 Ultra manifold uh, also has a 90 millimeter opening. It's a Ford um, Mustang flange. It's just really commonly used in uh, lots of different aftermarket intakes, um, both, both on the domestic side and import side. If you have a 90 mil flange, it's almost definitely gonna be this flange. The only other commonly used one is the Nissan Q45 uh, 90 mil, and uh, you know, they always state you know, very clearly Q45 flange. So if it doesn't say that and it says 90 mil on whatever intake manifold you're using, chances are it's this bolt pattern. So if that's the case, you can very simply remove the throttle body, um, replace it with the KS Tune spray plate, gaskets, fasteners are included, bolt it back together and you're done. The way that these uh, ports are machined into the flange, they're machined at intersecting angles, so the nitrous obliterates any fuel uh, when you're running a wet shot. The shots are machined such that uh, if you had fuel on one nozzle and nitrous on another, they're, they're shot at intersecting angles. So as the fuel injects at a really, you know, at a relatively low pressure, um, say, you know, 55 PSI, the nitrous is coming in at, um, at least before the, the uh, jet, at, you know, 1,000 plus PSI and turning from a liquid to a gas. So it absolutely obliterates the fuel. On this particular flange, there's seven injection ports. So rather than just a single injection port like you'd see on a single nozzle, you've got seven here. And the idea is just to provide better atomization. You also don't have to worry about where the uh, nozzle is located on the intake and even more importantly that nozzle I've seen it uh, more times than I care to talk about um, become loose and then that nozzle sprays directly at like the wall of an intake tube or something and has the possibility to, to puddle up and pool up which can create nitrous backfires and you know favor uh, one cylinder over another. This really takes a lot of the guesswork out. There's no placing of a nozzle, there's no drilling, there's no welding, and, and it supports 200 plus horsepower.